Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day. As always, guys, I really do appreciate it. Whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, tea or coffee, thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. Even if it's at 1.5 speed, no higher than 1.75 speed because I can't talk that fast. Guys, listen, you know, I've been going on and on uh, with some people because... There are still some people that believe that Gypsy Rose was actually, you know, A-B-U-S-E-D by their mom. I am not part of that camp. I don't believe that. Somebody has to show me how she was all of those things. Show me that she was actually restrained, hurt by her mom, Show me that. If you could show me that, then I would be apt to listening to more. But you, you guys just, and, and there's not, there's just a handful of you. And it's not that you guys are, you guys are just really believe that you just believe Gypsy's story. And I just do not. So unless you could show me and not just what Gypsy says, because I can't believe what Gypsy says, guys. I can't believe it because she's been so dishonest that I just cannot believe her. So I need to see, you know, a picture with something more than fuzzy handcuffs, maybe real handcuffs. Didn't Gypsy say that her mom restrained her by a dog leash and handcuffs? Where are those? Where are those? Show me where the restraints are. Show me where the neighbors say that Gypsy was being treated unfairly or there was yelling or screaming in the house. Show me something that isn't out of Gypsy's mouth and Christy and Rod can't say anything because according to them, they were way out of her life at this point. So whatever information they might get would only be coming from Gypsy. So I don't believe Gypsy. So show me somebody that I can believe because I don't see anything except a few people saying, no, you're going too hard on her. She's a victim. She's a victim. She's not a victim. I don't think she's a victim. And unless you show me something that says she's a victim, I'm not going to be on side with you. I'm going to keep trying to show you how I think you're being manipulated by her if you still think she's a victim. That's what I'm going to try to do. But I'm trying to show you with facts, not just blanket statements. So please show me the same. That being said, let's get into Becca Scoops. That video that I already showed you and did the interrogation bit. I, I pulled the interrogation part of it. And, and went into, you know, the truths and untruths and what's going on there. Let's look back into that video, the Becca Scoops video. Excellent video, by the way, right? I said that. So informative. And let's pull apart it more, okay? And let me again prove to you how Gypsy Rose is not a victim, but how we are her victims. Okay, guys? Watch. Dee Dee's most infamous role would be using her daughter, Gypsy Rose, in a medical con that lasted many, many years. By now, most people have heard that Dee Dee was a con woman who allegedly had a condition called Munchausen by proxy. She was making Gypsy fake illnesses and seek medical procedures she did not need. However, we were pretty shocked to learn that before Munchausen by proxy, also called factitious disorder imposed by another, became the narrative in this case, a few psychologists weren't sure that that fit Dee Dee to a T. So we had to ask, where did the Munchausen by proxy diagnosis come from in the first place? Only 48 hours after Gypsy's arrest, before any criminal investigation had happened, the Springfield News Leader published an article that claimed this diagnosis of Munchausen by proxy came from, quote, amateur sleuths on the internet, end quote. The article read, quote, it was posted everywhere by people reading the stories and making judgments about what was happening, end quote. Guys, do you hear that? The first time Munchausen by proxy he was diagnosed was by people like me online who cannot diagnose anything, can only suggest something 
and then have people go ahead and follow that diagnosis or they can look into that diagnosis. Guys, so you see the difference here? Munchausen by proxy, the person tends to legitimately be sick by the hands of somebody else. Gypsy was not meant to be sick. Her mom was not making her sick. They were making people believe that she was sick. You see the difference? You see it, right? I mean, Gypsy was never meant to be sick by Dee Dee. She never made her sick. She wasn't like poisoning her or doing things like that to her. They were showing people that she was sick. That's not Munchausen by proxy. That's fraud. She, it's also 100% clear that she didn't have half of the diagnoses that the public thought that she had, but Gypsy knew she didn't have them. Otherwise, she would have never left her house without medicine that she thought was life-saving to her. And in order for her to leave her house without that medication, she could not have been taking the medication. You understand? So all of this facade. So see how the Munchausen syndrome by proxy, look that up. It doesn't apply. It does not apply to Gypsy because Gypsy was not forced to stay in her wheelchair. She was out of her wheelchair at home. Okay, that is a con. That's a con. It's unclear, Rose claimed, how much Gypsy Blanchard knew about her condition, but certainly she knew she could walk. Dr. Rose said there's a similar but different disorder in which people fake medical issues for financial gain. That's called malingering, or in this case, it would be malingering by proxy. Rose said, I don't have all the details of this case, but certainly it appears they were benefiting financially. Most cases of Munchausen by proxy that have made headlines show a caretaker, usually a mother, making the child very ill, mostly by some form of poison. Lacey Spears was convicted of first-degree smurder of her son after it was found she was poisoning him with high amounts of salt. Then there's Candida Flutie, another mother, who was injecting her son with fecal matter and was sentenced to prison. Also, Hope Yabara poisoned her daughter with stolen pathogens that sent the child into anaphylactic shock. These are just a few famous cases. Many are contending, including law enforcement sources close to the investigation that we spoke to, is that this case was so complex and never fully investigated after the district attorney offered Gypsy a plea deal. Law enforcement personnel who wished to remain anonymous believed, and still do, that Gypsy was never telling the entire truth and is still selling the public and parole board untruths, allegedly and in their humble opinions. So guys, do you see the difference? Do you see the con as opposed to something that is tragic, like the victims, the legitimate victims that were named that Gypsy is not? Gypsy was somebody that was in on a scam to get away with things. And when it was about to go bust, she got away with something else. And that's what happened here. Guys, that Becca Scoops video is very, very good. And I'm taking bits of it and I'm breaking it down to show you everything that I've believed for a long time now. And that video I'm using as a tool to prove my point. So please watch the video or let me show you or do both, guys. Guys, I really hope that you're enjoying this. I think that it's really plain and simple. And I think Gypsy just looks totally ridiculous when we could break it down simply like this. And I'm hopeful that those hanger-ons that really think that Gypsy's all this and all that can realize that she's nothing but a bunch of hot air, somebody who has now made enough money to start making a difference with her money and start helping these places that she took advantage of. There are children that did without because she took from them. She has no remorse in that. She has no remorse in what she did to her mom. There is nothing that she's doing that is showing any kind of redemption or any kind of, oh my gosh, I just realized, let me make this right. She's not there. I don't think she's ever going to get there. What do you guys think? Talk to me in the comments. 
I partake in the comments. Guys, we have a great community here. I am so proud to be part of this community. And I hope that I am living up to the expectations that you guys have for me. Because I'm trying. Guys, continue on with the emails, please. I'm, again, a little behind with them. But I've been checking them consistently. When I say consistently, every couple days, it's the best I can do. But I'm doing it. And I'm getting back to everybody, I believe. I, I think I am. If there's an email that I've missed, hit me up again with it. All right, guys, you can get me at toddy1skip at gmail.com or in the comments here. Guys, take care. Please like, subscribe, and share. Half of you aren't subscribed. It's my birthday month. Subscribe for me, please. It doesn't cost you anything. If you don't like me at the end, we'll let you leave. There's no fee or anything in that. We don't hunt you down or anything. We are not a cult. Guys, have a good one, and we'll see you real soon. Don't forget, be better today than we were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Don't ever be Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Always be yourself. Always be kind. This is Toddy One Skip. See you next time.